What up guys? Today I'm going to take you along with me. Um, essentially, as most of you may know, I'm a teacher here in the Arctic. And part of being a teacher is taking your students on trips. So what does a trip look like in Nunavut in the Arctic? You're going to find out today. Uh, some of my students were actually able to enter into a contest and they won. So we're actually going to a different town in Nunavut. It's a certain um, science kind of fair that they won to enter. So I'm going to bring you along and we'll see how it is. Bye. Part of going on a field trip in the Arctic is actually flying to where you need to go because a lot of stuff is outside of where you currently reside. So we are at the airport right now. Alright, so I am now here at the airport. Got some people, some of my students showing up now. And we got our last student who came right on time, right as the plane is landing. Alrighty. Our school bus, guys. So these are my students. Alright, so I landed with my students in Tadarak. Um We're just doing a quick pit stop to get some gas. They found this giant rock formation, so they're all inspecting it. This is the airport in Tadarak. It's bigger than one Kugaruk, that's for sure. And the kids are loving it. All right, so we just landed. I've come Cambridge Bay. Thank you, Joanna. We just landed in Cambridge Bay. Here are my students. We got Wendell, Anton, got the ladies over here. And we're just waiting for our guide. Our guide to come and get in now. So, about 50 minutes is what we were told. So we'll keep updated.
So we are all here. We just reached the front of the SCAR campus in Cambridge Bay. Anton, want to add anything? No, no. <laughs> Trying to see inside. Somewhere inside here. Alright, so this is the inside. But don't go through the doors yet. Let's try that. We got some more sculptures, looks like. We got an ulu, and that's an Inuit woman's blade. Easy to cut and share meat. So we got everybody eating. Right. Or having coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty big town. A lot bigger than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's all big. Amory approves. Nice and big. We made it to the northern, which is a grocery store. And yeah, we'll have to see how it is. Saw uh, one of my old students. Cambridge Bay, Bugsy. How are you doing, man? Good. Oh man, it's so nice to see you. We are all at the table. These are some of the other schools, some of the other people. And yeah, we're about to begin just now. How important it is as Inuit for us to see Inuit doing work, important work in our community. And you're young enough that you have your whole future ahead of you. And you can decide what you want to be and what you want to do. And even if you feel shy now, and I'm going to tell you that I'm originally from Italy, and I grew up super shy. Good job, guys. I came in second. That's okay. I came in second. Came in second. Good. Yeah, yeah, you guys are doing good. Keep it up, guys. Good work. All right. So update. We went out to go do some food research, kids, and we got stuck. So we are stuck right now. That is our truck over there kind of accidentally drove into a ditch <laughs> and this whole road is icy because of the snowstorm so we're stuck this is bringing me back to my undergrad in geomatics Mom, using spatial analysis data and maps what are we going to do with this? you will find yeah. out soon you gotta delete everything. No, no, I think you leave it. This is your, I think this is going to be your base map. And then you're going to lay over top of it. We got some batteries here. Learn about electronics. Ooh. are working on doing an idea board so we're gonna check in and see how they're doing sorry okay move in closer okay oh very cool Alright, so 
we all made it back safely in Chicago. Here's some of the family picking up some of our kids. So, mission accomplished. Went to Cambridge Bay, came back to Silver Lake, and the kids like it.